Hello there. With each episode of Dollhouse, the dollhouse itself seems to be becoming more vulnerable and vulnerable. There are kinks in the armor to this supposed bulletproof corporation. We saw last episode the actives begun to glitch and we saw certain aspects of their previous lives. So I'm very interested to see how this show continues to develop. I made my predictions at the end of last episode or during last episode about how certain characters within the dollhouse itself may be victims of the broader corporation for example the wit could be inactive um and other individuals may be actives themselves um that you know you guys are probably laughing while i'm saying this but there could be something bigger at play and there is something bigger at play because it was teased but yeah my name is ellie moses your 23 year old law and film shooting here from sydney australia shooting your shot baby and today we are up to episode 8 of dollhouse titled needs i'm gonna waste no more time i'm gonna get into the reaction we're gonna have some fun let's react to this thing yeah let's see what's in store let's go you hey yo i only have a few minutes oh, man i can't know this body left an engagement are we not fighting this time i have a message for you from inside the dollhouse what, sit back and wait some more while they dismantle my life? You can handcuff me right now and bring the dollhouse to my door. So you tell me, who sent you? You have something we need. I have something you need. What is that? For Agent Ballard. I'm not a client. You gotta be the lucky. I don't need that. You know you do. Caroline? This gotta be a dream. This gotta be a dream. Come on, man. Agent Ballard ain't this lucky. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Millie. I guess I took too long getting back. You're already with her? Yeah, this gotta I be a dream. I know this is confusing for all of us. Don't stop, Paul. I need you. Paul! I'm sorry. I have a thing she needs. She's not even real. This dick! You feel me? Trust that. I need you to finish what you started. Caroline doesn't need anything anymore, Paul. She's dead. How many guys has Eliza Dishku hooked up in this show? <laughs> Come back. I won't let anything happen to you. I try to stop it. How did they know? I'm trying to stop everything. How did they know what we shared? How did they know? Urges, others still are showing signs of cognizance and recognition. Nearly all the actives exposed to the N7316 drug experienced a glitch, a random memory thread. This house is out of balance. <laughs> For the handlers, the main concern will be identifying behavioral problems that cannot be quelled and reporting them. We could test it out on one chamber if you're stressed about it. If you start playing with their meds, it could backfire or damage them. Or solve the problem. I know what I'm doing, Doc. So do I. Ooh. But I also care what you're doing. Ah, shots fired. Pew, pew, pew. Pets. I will take it into consideration. The tide is rising. Until we learn how to turn it back, we pile up the sandbags together. Unless anyone here thinks they've got a better idea. Nuke the whole joint. That's the best idea. Caroline, I'm Paul Ballard. I'm with the FBI. I know this is real tight. You, we use. Yo, if Caroline or Echo is remembering this in the dollhouse, we got problems. Do you trust me? Or do you want to play? Yeah, whatever happened last episode has not worn, worn off. I mean, she did say, the doctor did say that sleep is their most vulnerable time. So. Oh, we got a Buffy situation. Help me, somebody, please! Buffy season six. Who's there? I'm guessing all the actives are back to normal now. I woke up in a five star floor coffin, just like you, pal. I mean, I know the days of the week capital of nebraska but nothing about me my guess we're prisoners of some sort 
We need to assess the situation, formulate a strategy. Run strategically. That is military Victor talking, right? We fight with. We take the glass shade off the light fixtures. <laughs> it's not stupider than aliens? Watch your mouth. Hey, can we all act like humans, not monkeys? I think I have to get to the mountains. Everything's okay there. I lost something. Maybe it's here somewhere. I thought there'd be maybe some, like, fail-safe or alarm alien? in the dollhouse itself that goes off if they're, um, like, their sleeping pods, you know, sort of open up before the required time um i thought maybe there would be some oh but they did say they're currently upgrading their security and electrical work so maybe that's part of it and that's why hence um the pods going out of whack hasn't been alarmed or no one has been notified about it i don't know that's just my guess come on who doesn't want to put alien guy back in the box well, we don't want to see how this so until we know what's going on. Good morning, Tango. Good morning, Victor, Sierra, Mike. Hi, November. Your clothes are in the changing room. <laughs> How are you, Echo? Same character. Fine. Thank you. Same character. That's not my name. I have names, codes, military. Who uses those besides the government prisoners? This is going to be interesting because. They're aware, and they're like going about like it's a normal day in the dollhouse. But it's gonna be interesting to see them maybe interact with other operatives of the dollhouse, like Topher. Maybe something bad happened to us, and they're helping us heal. Good morning. We're having banana pancakes for breakfast today. I like pancakes. We're all gonna die. <laughs> Oh yeah, he looking for that camera. Wasn't it on the outside of the apartment? Like, viewing inside the window? I feel like there's more than just this one. I, I felt like there was another one. There was more angles. Did you do that to you here? Echo, please. Sit. No, I want to know. What the hell happened? Don't. They're watching. Oh, okay, okay. She aware. She aware as well. We work for them. Who are they? Where are we? Can't help you. I'm happy. I'm happy. Guys, I'm relaxing. I'm happy. I like banana pancakes. I want to climb the rock wall. Yeah, they're all very <laughs> observant about what they Tell all said and their like behaviors. Me. Help. She knows the others? She warned me. About the cameras. Keep walking. I reckon any little slip up I like there, not. right there. Like even just staying just still for a second and talking. But we have to do it. So? No big deal. Okay. New York Southern lineup, nineteen eighty six. First base. Keep your eyes right where they are. Hey, that Aussie accent was seeping in right there. <laughs> Mike? Remember me? Lab rat? Yes, your echo. It's a ride off. We woke up together. <laughs> trapped. We were scared. I like sleeping in the pods. Nah, he's been reset, my man. He's been reset. Wait, where are you going? I'm going to swim in the pool. Yes, Mr. Domino? I was just informed we have four actives preparing to escape. Damn, they know everything. Right on check. Oh, it's all planned. Ah, oh, yeah. Wait, is it? Is it? Or are they just testing Will you something? At least allow me to brief the in-house security team. The entire staff thinks they're preparing for an exercise two months down the road. They're not ready. Every person in this house should always be ready for anything. Echo Sierra Victor in November need real adversaries, real obstacles. Freedom has to be earned. We don't even have the power to end this. I like the thought. Big surprise. Okay. <laughs> 
Now, this is all going according to plan for the wit. The twit. He's very tired. This just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Whoa. The costume department. <laughs> What's all this for? Us. <laughs> the Victor Sierra relationship is still in full force outside the active state. <laughs> He's getting hard ons outside the active state. <laughs> What if somebody's in it? I don't have a choice, do we? Go up or go back. You want going back? Oh, okay. So I'm guessing her Aussie accent is her past former self. Because Sierra had the American accent, but it, I noticed the Aussie accent and I'm just like, because that's her natural accent, the actress's natural accent. So I'm guessing that's her um, former like self. She was Australian or just had that. I don't know. Wow. Oh, I thought they were back at the dollhouse. Because <laughs> the shading of the elevator. <laughs> Start checking doors. See if any of them are unlocked. We need to tell someone about what's happening. Should we call the police? The FBI? Well, we know this is the FBI. What if we're in this place? We trust each other. We'll figure this out together. We start with what we know. You know your name's not Sierra. And the guy that put you here, what's his name? I, I don't know. No, you do know. What's his name? His name. His name is Nolan. See? Christopher Nolan? No! You're right, your daughter. And you're going to think hard and remember where to find her, right? I know Mountain House. It's safe there. I need to go there. Maybe Guys. Alpha's in the mountains. Who's up? Wait, I'm actually curious to see how far the wit's gonna allow them to get. Embarking with the following four actors Victor, Sierra, November, and Echo. Here we go. This is unfair, man. She's just playing around with it. Wait! What are you doing? What's wrong? Get back in the car. I can't leave. You guys are okay. You go back in knowing that. This screen is too big. There's too many of them. They got guns. What do you think you're going to do? Try and make a difference. I'm guessing this is not part of the wit's plan to have Echo come back. Yo, a trained handler is about to get her ass whooped by Echo. Oh, there goes the kneecap. Oh, man. That's ACL joint, dislocation, everything. I hope she's not dead and just knocked out severely. <laughs> Until we figure things out, we should stick together. Are these sort of periodic things where they're sort of memory jerking and remembering things implanted by DeWitt? So like Melly, for instance, remembering where Katie is, is that a trap implanted by Nolan? So when Melly goes there alone, she gets captured? I, I don't know. It possibly could be. Just to separate them. Help each other. Same goes with Echo for staying I'm back. My life. You're sure? Yes. All right, then. That's why we left. We decide for ourselves now. Well, let's get a tail on her. November separated from the group. Oh. Is that an active leaving Dr. Saunders' office? Rewind it. Oh, my God. She was in the car. Apparently, she's got one step ahead of her. I should have seen this coming. This is terrible. Minus the memory. But it's her. And this is exactly what Caroline would do. Try and take us down by herself? You want me to call it in, round her up? No, there's no harm in letting this play out. Caroline's also realistic. Apparently, this is exactly what she was... 
What's the wit up to, man? Like, stop her immediately, please. Oh, oh yo. <laughs> Not anymore. Show, don't tell. Priya, I'm surprised. Oh, Nolan. And confused. Was this a, some kind of frequent buyer reward or? Tim. Uh, whoa, hey, what's going on? A little blackmail, maybe? I wouldn't put it past you, people. What you did to me, putting me in that hell, what did I ever do to you? You said no, and uh, nobody ever says no to me. Because I wouldn't have sex with you. You you took away my whole life. Do you have any idea how much trouble that was? <laughs> I mean, all the strings I pulled in the palms of Greece, I could have bought Pierre Island. But uh, I don't know if that was any mistake. <laughs> I was about to say, pop his ass. So, uh, uh, you're not her handler. You do, with pleasure. Sometimes you even beg. Damn, man. Like, okay. I can afford one hell of a security system, so. I have one. Our folks were on their way to grab you up before you hit the elevator, so. Oh, we gotta go. You will see me again. Yes, and I look forward to it. In there. Last time you put me in there, you made me what? Back online. I remember a mountain. Somewhere peaceful. Beautiful. I feel happy there. I want to go there. Is that real? Or is that part of your test? Real. How come it's there if you didn't give it to me? It's coming from you. It's what you need. I have your memories. You can have them back. You can do that? Totally. Yeah, but... You have to go in there. Yeah, if he but, sits you in the yeah, table, he but, can just put whatever he wants then. Okay. You first. <laughs> Pain is nothing more than nerves talking to your brain. Look, I'm just the science guy. <laughs> Up here, looking down on everyone, playing God. I can help you with anything you want you just have to tell me i want you to let them go that's i don't hard. have that kind of power that's hard <laughs> oh. is so vulnerable at the moment <laughs> just treat them no 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 i can't i can't it's a pretty interesting episode stop the imprint your suffering is that what you think you're doing here i'm certain of it taking away basic human rights free will my right to choose i mean you chose feel, you chose remember, to be here i think all relinquished by you to our care and discretion i can't i would be breaking a promise i made to you you couldn't live with the consequences of your own actions She's evil, man. And you no longer have to. You're letting us all go. You're free to leave. Who are you to decide for the others? The same comes to them to protect them from the unbearable truths that brought them here. I won't return those memories. So is her test the sort of... Oh, her daughter's dead. Oh, great. Is her test to sort of let them out in the field without their memories? So it's it's Caroline without the memories. It's Victor so without the memories, but no still Victor. But that's a test to get them out in the field without their previous memories. They'll be back. Each other like we always do. And we'll finish this. We will. Yay! Ah, uh, no, not yay. Sorry. <laughs> nah, she did not just release all the actives. The 
Am I watching the right ep yeah, episode 8? But even Dr. Saunders is out. What the fuck? What's happening? What's happening? Wait, what's Mr. Dominic and his security doing then? Can't just release him like that into the world. That's dangerous. Yep, and the men in black come out of nowhere back to retreat. Oh, okay. Was this all an act or like some plan? Like I said, did the wit program him to just sort of get as far the as they can? And until we learn how to turn it back, we pile up the sandbags together. And if anyone here thinks they've got a better idea. Give them what they need. Dr. Saunders? Closure. Ah, oh, so it was Dr. Saunders' idea. Particularly poignant or reoccurring experiences, these can cause desires, emotional needs, or reactivate old ones that existed before they came here. Open loops. If they're able to close those loops to get some sense of resolve. You're recommending we allow them to take self-guided journey. Fred. Just the priority cases. Fred, I trusted you. Let the tide come in. It's the only way to wash it back out. Fred. Has the tide turned? No, oh, they got played. Now. They got played. Each active spring was programmed to release a sedative the moment they felt closure. And we're back with us, so. I have to assume they've resolved the issues that caused them to glitch. November needed to grieve for her daughter. I understand that. Yeah. She needed to confront the man who took away her power. But Echo didn't go to the mountain. If I recall, you confronted the other one. Echo. She wanted to free us all. What about Victor? He wasn't going back to a trauma or a need from his past. He had a more present need. He needed to get the girl. He's in love. I was leading them out. I would like to have seen that. Even if it was all a game. Nah, I saw it, man. Game. Boy, Do it, you think I had fun? It wasn't that good, man. I don't know you very well. You have to look after Echo. I have to look after all of them. She wasn't leading them to freedom. She was leading them to a world of terror and chaos that would have destroyed them. Well, we don't anywhere anymore. You should be grateful. Yeah. I'll work on that. So I just watched an entire game for the whole episode. <laughs> Whatever hope there was. Whatever hope there was just evaporated. <laughs> Whatever promise with the actives. The glitches have all been patched. <laughs> The new update has come out. <laughs> I'm talking in gaming terms because it was a game. <laughs> iOS update 14 point. <laughs> you know what? I like how we started the episode with the overhead shot. Um, you know what? I, okay, I, got, I like that. We, we started the episode. Wait. Okay, I was waiting for it to cut to black. Come on, come on. Paul Ballard, this is Greg. You don't know me, but I have a file. And your name is in it, and I think we've met. I know it sounds crazy, but we're here. Somewhere underground. I'm trying to get everyone out, but if I can't... Oh, she please, contacted him. Please find before. Us. Damn. Okay, so there's two situations we didn't see happen this episode until, like, a reveal. So we didn't see that Dr. Saunders recommended the game play out the way it was. And we didn't see Caroline contact Paul Ballard while she was escaping or trying to get the actives out. Um, but like I was saying there, I like how we started the episode with sort of that overhead shot, um, you know, with the camera probably uh, 
on a rig um you know panning up panning up to reveal uh the pods opening up and then at the end of the episode um we sort of have them going back in the pods and then instead this time the camera is panning down so sort of zooming in um and coming down rather than going up to sort of i guess um emphasize that closure of the episode um you know at the beginning of the episode you had them coming out um and then sort of yeah everything played out i guess to the wits plan i'm not articulating myself here well i'm trying to get my words together but yeah you get what i mean it was sort of like a neat tie into the, the beginning of the episode with how they were um waking up from the pods and then the end of the episode was sort of a neat tie-in again um, but this time it was a different uh sort of camera shot we had the starting point of the camera being up top and then sort of slowly coming down um as the pods closed and then yeah dollhouse one again but but the dollhouse might have won the battle but it has not won the war <laughs> we'll continue our journey with dollhouse i hope you enjoyed my reaction ladies and gentlemen um this has been episode eight of dollhouse i liked it i liked it as well um just when you think um you know maybe the actives are getting some sort of independence or some sort of awareness and growing more aware about what's happening it was all part of the dollhouse plan to you know sort of patch those glitches that happen to get that um sort of release um so the sedative can come out and have that sort of sense of closure so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction as always been your boiling moses take care god bless peace